back to the Matisse Museum. I'm Alex Desans, the Director of Collections, and we are continuing to give you short heirloom care videos. This week, we bring you book care. <laughs> Just as a reminder, there's some good general um, paper tips in last week's video. Um, today, we're talking about books. First off, storage. Actually, this is kind of easy. One of the best ways to do it is actually like you would store them on a bookshelf. Um, you can also store them up and down with the spine at the bottom. You're going to want to store similar sized together. Um, um, another way, if it's an oversized book, you can store it horizontally and stack them. Um, just don't stack them too high or too many because that puts pressure on the book. Okay. So an, a fun tip to uh, safely pull out your books if they're like this and if they're not pushed all the way back. Um, you can push the two books on either side of the book you want and then pull out there and that way you're not pulling down on the top of the spine and damaging um, the book that way. Um, something else you want to do is try to remove um, acidic inserts, sticky notes, bookmarks, pressed flowers, all that kind of thing. They can be really pretty. Um, you can wrap them in archival plastic or archival tissue paper and um, have them make a note that this was found in the book, but just having that out of the book increases um, your ability to care for the book itself safely. Um, that way things aren't reacting. Paper is fun like that. It likes to react to things. Um, for when you're displaying the books, don't force your book to lie open 180 degrees. You're going to want to prop up the covers. Um, but, you know, have it kind of at an opening angle, prop them up, safe um, built-in cotton, kind of pillowy stuff, or their special foam uh, book props, yes, to hold, hold those up safely. And if possible, try not to leave them open too long to the same page, because then that starts wearing the book's spine. Flip the pages a little bit. Um, to be honest, though, your best bet of story is something like this, or on the spine, or horizontal. Um, and if, the page, if you're trying to get it to a page and it's just not, even with um, the angle, it's just not staying, there are safe weights and foam that you can kind of put on top of the pages so they don't move. Um, you can also kind of make them yourself if you have the right kind of material, like a, a cotton stockingette or something like that. And fill it with um, beans or safe plastic pellets or just something provided you're not using it a ton that it's going to um, interact but just something to do a little bit for. Um, um, the spine is falling apart you can always contact a conservator. The other idea is to use archival um, cotton tying tape to keep the contents together and supported. Just don't do it. You want to do it tight enough that it's not going to move but not too tight that it's really. Um, there are just also a lot of other stuff from the, should I take that out? Uh, it's a conservation um, company, I believe it's out of uh, Philadelphia, the CCAHA. Um, they have other tips and care ideas about books and surface cleaning, mold removal, all that kind of stuff that's probably a little too long for a short little video. Um, other ideas are phase boxes, um, a four flap enclosure, which is really similar, but it's just um, on heavy duty archival paper instead of archival boards, um, a rare book box, safe book jackets, just even acid free tissue and cloth tape, just to kind of keep that together. Be connecting to Collections Care site has a lot of cool um, resources and webinars. And one of them they did in the fall of 2019 was a webinar on book repair. So if you have any books that you're a little unsure to care about, that may be a first place to go instead of trying to find a conservator. Because while they're really useful, conservators can be a little expensive. So you want to make sure that it's worth it to you to spend that money to repair that book. So we'll be coming to you again next week on another paper topic. And let us know if you have any questions.